All right, welcome back to uh, Tellier Sophie or Atelier. I don't know. I don't remember how they pronounce it. Maybe we'll hear it again. So we're in our grandmother's little workshop. Um, found a book who can talk to us. Apparently he's going to teach us some alchemy because we're pretty crummy at it. Um, but we ran out of ingredients. So we need to go find Monica so that we can go out into the field and uh, get some more stuff. So time will pass when Sophie takes action, such as moving or synthesis. Yes, I would like to actually hear more about the passage of time. Uh, you can see the current time and date in the upper left corner of the screen. Movement, expiration, synthesis, and other actions will cause time to slowly pass. The time can cause changes in monsters, present, gatherable items, etc. A week consists of five days called sprout, bud, flower, fruit, and seed. Fruit and seed are the weekend. And the people around town will be doing different things than during the week. The month consists of 30 days. The current date will display on the calendar in the upper left corner of the screen. So six weeks in a month. Um... Well, let's go find Monica. Can't get water from our well. I guess that doesn't work just yet. Oh, we have like a little map. Okay. Um, where does this go? I'm curious. Probably not where Monica is. Probably not where anything is. Okay. Is that a barrel? No, it's a pumpkin. We have to find a barrel. We have to get Sophie to say barrel. Oh, there's a barrel. All right, Sophie, do it. Barrel, barrel. We got a trophy for that, which is lovely. It's a staple of all the games. Basically, they just, uh, whenever there's a barrel, they say barrel out loud. Barrel, barrel. And it's always voiced, which is nice. Nice little touch. Barrel, barrel. One more time. Barrel, barrel. Okay, we're good. All right, um, I guess we'll go talk to this person here. Hello, old lady. Neighborhood old lady. Looking for Monica, I think I saw her in the plaza earlier. The hill from the plaza to the edge of town is really hard on an old lady. Yes. So you can either go that way. Is there a way to see a map? No. Not that I can discover. Nope, pressed all the buttons, nothing happened. Although we can jump. Alright, so do we go this way, or do we... Okay, that's in our house. So the only way we can go... Well, this looks like we can go this way. Oh, that's the world map. Okay, we don't want to go there just yet, I don't think. We want to go to the edge of town. Hello. Working mother. Uh-huh. All right, to the plaza where hopefully we will find Monica. Monica, will you come gathering with me? Hmm? Why are you asking all of a sudden? I don't have any materials for synthesis. I want to go gather some, but I'm scared to go alone. Ah, I see. Of course I'll go. Besides, you helped me with Meister Horse request. All right, thanks, Monica. No problem. By the way, Sophie, have you outfitted yourself properly? Huh? Yeah, I have my handkerchief and snacks. That's not what I meant. You need medicine and other supplies, right? We're going to a place where monsters appear. You need to prepare properly. Oh, you're right. I'll be sure to bring some stuff. Well, luckily, we got some stuff for free from, um, the DLC. So we have to equip... Yeah, let's, uh, let's just view this tutorial real quick. So there's limited to the types that can be equipped. So... Okay. Well, let's check our equipment then.
We don't have any explorer items. We do have this stuff, so we'll equip all of them. Cause it's all we have really at the moment. Um, we don't have anything else. Oh, oh, they can equip items too. Really? How do we remove remove? But normally only alchemists could equip items. Interesting. That's different. Uh, let's see, it says important events. Something was added. So go gather materials and go gather at Chickwoods. So we have a specific place to gather at. Um, let's talk to this person here. A horse shop too. How do we get the horse shop? This way, maybe? I don't know. Why, if it isn't Sophie and Monica, are you going somewhere? Oh, Mrs. Marguerite. Yes, I'm going to help Sophie gather materials. Right, Sophie? Wow, these are nice! Your vegetables look so tasty today, too! Yum! <laughs> it seems Sophie is charmed by my vegetables again. Sophie! Huh? Oh, right! Yeah, we're going to go gathering! I see, I see. Make sure to be careful. Yes, thank you for your concern. That makes me wonder where my foolish son wandered off to. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Got it. I'll let him know if I see him. Anyway, we'll be going now. Yes, take care. Okay, Miss Marguerite. I guess your son is probably going to be a party member. So no shop from you. Um, got a bunch of places we can go to here. Let's go to the cafe. Nope. Closed. Um, clock shop. Also locked. Uh, is this the way we came from? I really don't know. Also locked. It's an empty house. That's the plaza. Yeah, we came from the plaza. It's a little odd that it's not displayed on the map as in place to go to, but that's okay. Go to the town entrance. Um, not a whole lot going on here. Well, you don't really need a guide for someone who already knows where they're going, no? To the world map! Woohoo! Okay. This is pretty standard where are we going next? world map stuff. So we're going to go to the Chickwoods, where we have uh, two main objectives there. Ah, the fresh air is great. I feel like I haven't been outside of town in a long time. Sophie, you need to be more careful. We have no idea when monsters could appear. I know. Wait, is someone over there? That's... Hey, Oscar! Oh, Sophie and Monica. What are you doing out here? We're here to gather alchemy materials. What about you? I came to observe the plants. The plants here tell some interesting stories. Oscar, don't tell me you were talking to plants again. That's exactly what I was doing. What's weird about that? To me, it's weirder not to be able to talk to plants. Yeah, you were always like this. I don't really intend to argue after all this time. That sounded vaguely like an insult. Oh, right. 
Oscar. Mrs. Marguerite was looking for you. Oh, crap! I totally forgot about my delivery! Mom's gonna scold me! This is your own fault. Just accept it, Oscar. Huh? What was that sound? Ah! Pony! Sophie, stand back! Oscar, you can fight, right? What? Wait a second! I'm not prepared for this! Here they come! Um, probably don't need the explanation, but let's do it anyway. Just to be on the safe side in case there's anything new. So in battle, enemies and allies take turns. Pretty simple. Okay. Stance. There are two types of stances, offense and defense. That seems different. Choosing offense will increase your attack power. Makes sense. Also allow you to perform support attacks. Choosing defense will increase your defense and probably help you do support guards, yeah. Okay. Each support action will automatically be used when the chain link gauge is filled to 100%. Okay. So with warning, you probably want to be in a defense stance, okay. Alright, maybe useful for harder battles, but we'll probably be staying in offense stance as often as we can, probably. Um, yeah, we'll stay in offensive. Oh, this is different. We're not actually attacking yet. Okay. So instead of it being actually turn order, it's everybody gets to pick what they do, and then it executes it. So that's a little bit different. Time to get back to observing plants. Hasn't normally been like that. I thought I was going to die. You both appear uninjured. Yeah, somehow. I didn't think they'd attack all of a sudden like that. Hey, Oscar. Do you want to come with us? It's dangerous to be alone. Monsters could attack again. You're probably right. Alright, I'll go with you. I wouldn't want to get hurt after all. In that case, let's get started with the gathering. Oh, you need to help too, Oscar. What? I never said I'd do that. We won't tell Mrs. Marguerite we saw you here, okay? Uh, fine, I got it. Alright, so Oscar joined our party. And, uh, well, why not? We already see most of them anyway. There's not probably many tutorials left. Monsters also dwell. Start the battle advantage. Okay. Yep, pretty simple stuff. Okay. Let's just gather. All right. This should be plenty. <coughs> Talk about using people. What should we do, Sophie? Want to look around a little more? Huh? No way. That's enough. I'm exhausted. And if we stick around too long, some dangerous monsters could appear. Hmm. Oscar might be right. Okay then, let's head back. Yeah. Oh, both of you should drop by the Atelier. I'll make tea for you. Oh, really? Then we'll take you up on that offer. Right, Oscar? Yeah. But first, let me catch my breath. Atlier. Alright, um... Sure. At low LP, your stats will be reduced in battle. Losing LP will reduce your abilities. Try to avoid battles when you're low on LP. Exploring the same field multiple times will allow you to gather better materials. But enemies get stronger. Okay. 
stuff changes depending on day and weather. Pretty standard. I don't think there's even anything else in these uh, this area here. I think we've pretty much gathered everything. I don't even know if there's any enemies. I don't see any. So I guess we our only choice is to leave, essentially. Unless we can go in this house? Nope. Alright. I guess we should go back. Where should I go? Could try to go to the Chickwoods again. It actually won't let us. Um alright. Back to Kirchen Bell. We're back. Ah, welcome back. That took a long time. Th that book is floating a and talking. I never thought I'd hear the voices of books in addition to plants. N no, Oscar. It isn't just you. I can hear it too. This time. Sophie, it seems your friends are just as loud as you are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anyone would be surprised if they saw you, Plakta. Um, both of you, this is... You wrote something in a reference book and it started talking? Sounds more like a dream. I never thought that book would turn out to be something this amazing. I was shocked at first, too. I mean, a book was flying and talking, after all. I don't think it's that shocking. No, it is. So, um... Miss Plakta? Just call me Plakta. Oh, okay then. Plakta? What or who are you? Ah, I asked the same question. But it seems like Plakta doesn't have any memories. Really? Yes, the only things I know are my name and a little knowledge of alchemy. Right. That's why I want to figure out a way to get her memories back. Memories, huh? Maybe they'll come back if you found some sort of clue? A clue? Hmm... Oh, Sophie! I just thought of something. Plakta started talking because you wrote something in the book, right? Yeah, I think that did it. Then maybe her memories will return if you write more recipes into the book? Wow, that makes sense. You're pretty sharp, Monica. What do you think, Plakta? It doesn't sound far-fetched. I think it would be worth trying. Okay. In that case, I'll study lots of alchemy and write lots of recipes into you. I feel like some sort of fate brought us here. If there's anything I can help with, let me know. Yeah, I'll help with whatever I can, too. Thank you both. Whoa, it's getting late. I need to get home or Mom will scold me again. I'll be leaving as well. See you later, Sophie and Plakta. Yeah, see you! I need to work hard for Plakta. Yes, I have high hopes, Sophie. Hmm. So send obtained items to the container? Yes. Wait, can we just send everything? Oh, oh, we can check the items. Okay, so we got some magic grass, some monster feathers, and that was it. Um, can we talk to Plakta? Yeah, but we don't really know what to do now. Try synthesis again. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here. Next time we'll do a little bit more synthesis and see if we can get maybe some of Plakta's memories back. Um, so as always, thanks for watching and until next time.